Well, good evening. I am here to do a review. A review of a flashlight called a WowTech A4 V2. I don't know what A or the 4 or the V or the 2 stands for, but that's just what it's called. We are out perusing our property where we live. Enjoying the beautiful sights, the scenery, the luscious vegetation. And we're going to see just what this flashlight can do. And as part of this demonstration, we're going to compare two WowTech flashlights side by side. The A5 on the right, along with the A4 V2. So the A4 V2 is a very focused beam flashlight. has a very focused beam as you can see upon the surrounding vegetation it is a very powerful flashlight look at that clear to the other side of the field my goodness this thing <laughs> lights up the world it has three settings so this is the low setting you actually, there's a brush pile, there's a trifid, here's the second one, second brightest, it's starting to light up the sky, light up the night, waken the world, there's that big cedar on the other side again, kind of hard to see, but if, oops, if we light it up one more time, boom. Yeah, it looks like a Christmas tree. Both the A5 and the A4 V2 flashlights are charged, rechargeable, and they use this, this port here where you stick in the charger. And But one of the main differences between these two is the focus of the beam. The A5 is a wider spread as opposed to the A4 V2 which is a narrow focused beam. You can see the narrow focused beam of the A4 V2 as opposed to the widespread beam of the A5. Oh, it's getting low. Look at that. The button is turning red as opposed to blue, which means that it's getting low on battery. So this means this, this flashlight, the A5, is low on batteries. Check out what it's doing when it's low on batteries. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty wild. So, there is the A5. There is the A4 V2. It's a narrow beam as opposed to the widely dispersed beam of the A5. If you're going to have lightsaber parties, the A4 V2 would definitely be a better lightsaber than um, the A5. So we're supposed to do a drop test for this guy. I have honestly not had one break yet, and I've used one for a couple years now. Oh, it's still working. Oh, it's still working. Quite honestly, the purpose of the A4 V2 flashlight is pretty much for spotlighting stuff because it it's such a focused narrow beam. Hello, little critters, probably a bunch of deer or wolverines looking to rip out my esophagus. But for a light to go camping with, I would take the A5. A4 V2 
A5. A4 V2. A5. Goat. Yeah, I wanted to show you something really cool right over here. See, down in there, isn't that cool? Oh, oh, oh no, oh my goodness. Oh, drop the flashlight right in the water. Oh, oh my goodness. But hey, look, it still works. It is water resistant. I won't say it's waterproof, but uh, it does seem to be pretty water resistant. One of the things I might add about these flashlights, and I've been using them for, for a while now, is that the battery life on these things is really amazing. They last a long time. I mean, I, I'll go a long time without charging them and use it and use it and use it and they just they really last a long time I'm impressed with their longevity A5 on the right along with the A4 V2 